Okay, so this is our Tornatec Fire Pump controller. This is our jockey. So here's our operating keypad. On initial startup, you will turn the controller on. And it's going to read you what the current pressure is on the system. In this case, we're reading 129. To set where our cut in and cut out pressures are, in the middle here on our keypad, you have a check button. And there's a sheet of paper that comes with every jockey controller that walks through this. And you're going to hold the check button in for a few seconds. Probably close to five seconds, three to five seconds. And what we see here is C-U-O-U, -U, which for us is cut out. So that's your stop point. So we hit the check mark. Right now we're set for 115. Hit the check mark, that's done. We hit the right arrow and that comes to our cut in. We hit the check mark. It shows 105 if I wanted to change that. It's just up or down arrows. We'll keep it at 105, a nice 10 PSI uh, difference between your start and stop point. Hit the check mark and then we're done as that's far as all you want to do. In that same menu, we can keep hitting to the right and we can get to a timer. So if you want a run period timer or a timer that delays starting, we have both of those standard built in. So in this case, let's say we didn't need a timer. We're all done with our programming. We'll hold the power button down here on the keypad for a split second here. And now we're going to show our current pressure. Now typically what you do to test this is you drop pressure on the system by opening the line. We have a built-in so, pressure sensor on top here. So right here, if you press, that's system pressure. If I press the top arrow, it shows my cutout. My cut out. The bottom arrow shows my cut oh. in that's okay. been programmed in there. So we'll simulate a pressure drop here. That's a pro that's pre-programmed, you said, right? That difference? So now, you no, see here, a few. we're showing that we're running, and we're running in auto, because we're below the start point. Now if I raise it, this is in manual shutdown. So even though we're above that 115, it's still running. Let me hit the stop button. And that's pretty much for on off. That's that's it for the jockey as far as your normal programming. And if you want to run it in hand, which means just manual, start, stop. Now I'm going to do a calibration. How we get to the yes. Okay. So for our calibration, we're going to start the same 